Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, I have two different stores that I went to to make up this haul. So I'm going to start out today with the store in Lansingburg. And uh, let me just quick show you what I got. Um, I picked up a few, a few food items. I picked up this um, Loretta coating mix for chicken. I love this stuff. It's just as good as Shake and Bake, if not better. And it's only a dollar. Shake and Bake has gotten really expensive. There are two packs in here, and I love this stuff. I keep it stocked up. And this is good until August of 2020. So I got one of these. I picked up some Mrs. Freshly's Donuts. I like to have these around when I need something quick for breakfast or if the kids are here, grandkids. And these are good until, there's a 16 count. There's um, four in each pack. There's four packs of four. And these are good until April 23rd of 2020. Uh, I picked up a box of these fudge mint cookies by Oven Baked. Tastes just like Girl Scout cookies. Actually, they're better, in my opinion, than Girl Scout cookies. Um, I pick these up every time I run out, or if I see them, I pick up a box or two. And these are good until May 5th of 2020. Uh, I picked up these Harvest peanut butter filled pretzels. They are a five ounce bag. It's pretty good size. And for a buck, they're just enough for me. Because you know what? I bought one of those big containers and it just seemed to last forever. So this is just enough for me to snack on for a couple of times. So I picked that up. And I did find two bags of the Snyder's pretzels. Snyder's of Hanover. These are the mini pretzels. And they are uh, non-GMO, low-fat. They're good till July 4th of 2020. So I picked up one bag of those. And I picked up one bag of the Snyder's of Hanover braided twists honey wheat with real honey. And this is a 10 ounce container and it has two grams of fat. And these are delicious as well. These are really, really good. I like these a lot. So those were the food items I picked up there. <clears throat> I picked up this little keychain thingamajiggy. It's a little fluffy purple ball, so soft. And it's got two little, oh, this way, because it's got doot doot in the middle there. Two little glitter, two little glitter ears. And I just thought it was really cute to hang on my purse or probably not on my keychain because it would get dirty too fast. But I just thought it was super cute and it was so soft. So I grabbed that. Got a couple of fuzzy things. I finally found the uh, magnetic hook, the puffy little magnetic hook. This came in purple, pink, white, Mm, I think that was the only colors and it has this little hook on the bottom that you can hang stuff off of and uh, I watched Jenny Mowen and she said that this is a really good magnet see it's a magnet on the back and you can hang that on your fridge or wherever and you can hang stuff from it so I picked up the purple one and this is by Jot and the other furry thing I got was this little pencil Pen, it's a pen, see, pen, sorry. It's got this uh, holographic um, base. And then it's got all these pretty colors, a little rainbow, and this is also soft. And I just love these little fluffy things. They're so cute. So I'll add that to my pen collection. Um, I didn't buy a whole lot uh, um, on this <clears throat> particular haul, but I was able to find the butter dishes cooking concepts butter dishes i've saw all kinds of people on the dollar tree craft sites making um little things little um let me rip this open what they do is they take the butter dish and they take the top and then they put this on here and they paint it 
And then they put the salt and pepper shakers in here and then put flowers out of them. So I was looking all over for them, did not have them in my store, and uh, I was pretty psyched when I found them in the Lansingburg store and I picked up two of them just so I could do some crafting with the, with those. So I was really excited to get those. <coughs> Excuse me. Next item is I picked up another pack of these uh, little Easter carrots. They're like uh, rope, orange rope, and then they got the little raffia leaves. There's four of them in a package, and I picked up another one. I have some left from last year because these were out last year. And they were very hard for people to find. I was able to find them in quite a few stores last year, but I also used them because I did an Easter craft fair last year. And uh, so I used a lot of them and I just wanted to have some backups. Uh, I picked up this notebook. It says, grow where you are planted, where you're planted, sorry. And it's got the cactus on it and it's got gold, um, <clears throat> spiral binding on it this is by crown jewels and they never tell you how many pages you get and i'm not about to guess how many are in here but it's a lined notebook which i love because you can just fold these in half like this and and the lines on it are green which is interesting and the back is just plain so i got that for me because i like those Picked up a box of Russell Stover candies. I picked these up a couple times before. You get five pieces of candy in here. You get one solid piece of dark chocolate, one caramel, and then I think you get three, like, um, uh, what do you call that stuff? The marshmallowish, whatever it is, the nougat kind. But they're really good, and they're a great little snack, so I picked up another one. I've eaten, I think, two or three of them already. But I grabbed that to have. Um, I picked up this Crafter's Square paint pen. This is um, doo -doo -doo. ideal for wood, plastic, metal, and glass. It's non-toxic, and it shows you how thick of a point it would draw. And I got this in the silver. I have a couple of these, but I w wanted it for backup. I picked up these cute little uh, Easter napkins. There's 18 napkins in the pack. Just thought I, I did get some other different Easter napkins, but I thought I'd throw these in the mix as well just to have, I don't know, you know, we're going to be able to celebrate Easter all that much, but I got them anyway. Oh, I picked up this uh, six pack of Snickers fun size candy. If you guys haven't noticed, I have my um, Dollar Tree uniform on. I took my name tag off, but <clears throat> this is what we wear. Green shirt, tan pants or black pants. I just got done working and uh, I wanted to get this haul out. Um, but I just wanted to say you would not believe the amount of candy that people have been buying. I mean, they're stocking up with their canned goods and their frozen items and whatever, but the amount of candy that people have been buying has just been unbelievable. I, I was just really shocked by that. Um, I did pick up two packs of these glitter berries. Look at how pretty these are in the purple. They look like this. Picked them up in the purple and they also had them in the yellow. See how pretty those are? Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, I loved them. I had, I do have them, actually I have on my table right now, this, which is the red and the silver berries, but that's my Christmas decoration that's still sitting there, but it matches my kitchen, so it's still sitting there. And the last item I got at the um, Lansingburg store was this. It's called Poster Board, and it looks like this on the top, okay? I got these from uh, the Lansingburg store. 
I don't know, a month or so ago. I got two different kinds. You can see they're just a little bit different. There's five in each one. And when I grabbed them the last time, they rang up for a penny. I watched um, Thrifty Divas and she hauled them for a penny. So I went there and I only got, I think, two or three and they rang up for a penny. So I went back to the Lansingburg store where I got the ones to begin with. This is a long story for a little item. <clears throat> I went back to the Lansingburg store the other day and they still had them. And I wasn't sure whether there's, they were still going to ring up for a penny, thinking maybe they caught on that they were ringing up for a penny. So I only got two. But now that I know that they're still ringing up for a penny, I'm going to go back to the Lansingburg store and get the rest of what they have. So these are poster board. They're printed corrugated pattern. They're eight and a half by 11. And this is what they look like. So if you see these in your local store, they're going to ring up for a penny. So <clears throat> I grabbed those. That was the all I got in Lansingburg, but I'm going to show you what I got in my store, um, which I picked up just recently. I do still have plenty of uh, Dollar Tree hauls coming, so if you guys, you know, are <clears throat> not getting Dollar Tree hauls from other channels, I work at Dollar Tree, so I'm going to have Dollar Tree hauls. I'm still working. The store is still open. They still sell. They sell food, so they're an essential store. So we are still working, and uh, I will still have hauls. Um, some of this stuff is a couple, a week or so old, um, but I also will be having new stuff. <clears throat> anyway, a couple days ago, I don't know, I, I hauled these pretty containers. They're like a peach color, right? So I got this from my store. So lo and behold, I'm working the other day, stocking the plastics, and boop, found a different one. <clears throat> I picked up four of them, of course. You know me and my plastic bins. This is the new one, and this is the old one. This one right here, the first one I picked up is... I wrote this down, 11 and 3 quarters inches this way, 5 and a half this way. This one is 8 inches this way and 11 inches this way. So they're just about the same length, <clears throat> but they're this one's wider than this one. And I also did see that Jenny Mowen picked up the big square one, you know, the regular big size been so I'm on the lookout for those as well but these are really pretty this is the old one and I picked up four of the new bigger one the color is not coming out on camera at all it's really gorgeous gorgeous light be um, pink peach color it's so pretty it also comes in gray but I just love 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 that color all right, let me, excuse me for a second. I'm just going to drag this stuff over here because I got so much stuff on the table. All right, what else I picked up at the Cohoes Dollar Tree? I picked up a package of these Scrub Buddies. They're two-in-one quick erasers. Now, these are similar to the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers, but they have this blue scrubby part on it, which I really like a lot. Um... My friend Michelle got these and I used one at her house the other day and I was like, I need to pick those up. They have had these forever at the Dollar Tree and I just never, never picked them up, but I really liked it and so I grabbed a box. They're five by three by one inch sponge on one side, quick eraser on the other. Great for everyday cleanup. So I grabbed those, picked up this Easter candy. They're little bags, little baggies of Easter candy. And you get 20 packages in here. So I picked these up to put in the kids' Easter basket. Got two of them because I got six grandkids. So I got 40 pieces now and that should cover them for a while. They can each have a couple. <clears throat> the next thing I picked up was 
some new Bolero. I found the Sweet Almond Manu and Manuka Honey Mighty Moisture Shampoo. Hydrate and Replenish. And this is a 13 and a half ounce bottle. I picked up this. And I also picked up the conditioner to go with it. So this is a great new product from Bolero. I got that. And then I found the Sweet Almond Milk Body Yogurt After Shower Cream. And that's five ounces. And it's got this really pretty picture on the top. And that's by Bolero and it's pink. And then I found, <clears throat> gosh, I got a frog in my throat tonight. I found the two times concentrated sweet almond milk exfoliating body wash by Bolero. It smells fantastic. Um, it's got, it's covered, but I took a whiff of the um, <clears throat> of this, and I'm assuming this smells like that as well. Um, but anyway. This is a 10 ounce container. And then I found the, the uh, body yogurt in the cocoa rose. I love the smell of coconut. So this, I hope smells really well. And uh, these also are covered containers. Oh, actually I know what it was when I bought these. There was one of these that somebody had opened and uh, so I picked it up and sniffed it, and then I said, hey, that smells pretty good. And then I put the other one in the damages cart because you can't sell it once it's opened. And then I found the Coconut Rose Exfoliating Body Wash by Bolero, two times concentrated. And this is also in the Coconut Rose. So you could take this and this and make a nice little gift out of it. You also have this one and this one you can make a nice gift out of. Or you could just keep them for yourself and enjoy your body wash and your cocoa yogurt butter, whatever it is. Yogurt milk, body yogurt. I don't know. But you could keep it for yourself and enjoy it, which I'm going to do. I also found the e.l.f eyeliner again um i bought it in black but i bought it in the um what are they calling it coffee color brown because i want to try brown eyeliner i use um black eyeliner i always have but i thought i would try the brown see if it, how that works on me and it has the little cap with the sharpening tool in here i just want to tell you if you do use this sharpener as a sharpener it gets all, it makes the top all cruddy. I mean, the the eyeliner gets in there and it looks, it looks dirty. I even tried to clean it out, but didn't work. But anyway, that's just my opinion on that. Picked up one of these uh, little batteries, lithium batteries, the flat batteries because I have a couple of things that have these batteries in them and my store hadn't had them for a while. They're the CR2032 by one um, batteries and I like to keep these on hand. These are by Sunbeam and I picked up one of those because my store hadn't had them for a while. And I picked up uh, two little sets of booties because my friend's daughter is having a little boy uh, she's due June 1st, so I started getting her um, baby gift together. I got these with the little Dalmatian with the fire hat on, and I got these the little fire trucks. So I got those for her, part of her shower gift. And then I found this tray, which I bought previously in gold, which is on my table right now. But now they have it in silver, which silver is... I. I prefer silver to gold in just about everything, but uh, I picked it up in the silver. And this is, let me find my ruler. I just measured my stuff. I might not be able to measure this. Let's see. 
12, it's about 14 inches long and six and a half inches wide. Really pretty. Looks like this on the back and it's like a hard plastic. It's really like you can't bend it. It's really nice quality. <clears throat> now I found these in two places in my store. For some reason they were in the Easter section and then I also found them in the um, kitchen section near all the baking things, you know, the pie pans and the um, cookie sheets and that kind of stuff. And they were on a shelf near there. So I don't know where they would be in your store, but that's where I found them. I hope you're all doing well. And I hope that I can keep you guys entertained um, during this long struggle of staying inside. Um, I do have a question for you guys. Um, now that I'm, I'm over a thousand viewers, um, I can apply for monetization, which would mean I would have commercials during my videos, either before, during, or after. I'm not sure how that works yet. I'm looking into it. Um, I would just like um, your opinion on whether you would continue to watch my videos if I had commercials. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I started just doing this for fun, but, um, actually, I mean, my channel's grown really well and I could start making a little bit, a little bit of money on it. Um, and I don't know whether it's worth it because, you know, I love you guys. And if you like my channel the way it is, I'm not going to go messing with things. So please leave a comment below and let me know if you would still continue to watch my channel if I was to have ads on it. Anyway, leave me a comment letting me know what you think about my haul. Um, let me know how you're doing, how you're feeling. If this all uh, coronavirus thing has, you know, gotten the best to you, just say hello. Just leave me a comment. I love reading your comments. I'm sorry if I don't answer, you know, respond to them right away, but I read them. I get an email every time somebody comments and I love reading your comments. I do read every comment that I get. Um, it just takes me some time to respond to them because working two jobs, taking care of my grandkids <clears throat> and all the other things, my mom, um, I do eventually answer or reply to all the comments that <clears throat> you guys leave. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. But stay tuned to my channel. Thank you all for being a part of my life. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll stick around. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye now.